Welcome back to another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. I'm Casey Donovan with the words of mindfulness expert Amy Malloy. Let's talk about the clutter conundrum. It's the side of working from home we don't talk about, and it's not doing our mental health any favours. So, what is the clutter conundrum? Damon Crowhurst, head of display at Samsung UK, wrote a blog post on the subject. Do you remember when our homes were just our home? They were already cluttered back then. Now every space is also a workspace. That means our clutter is sprawling. And it isn't just any clutter. It's work clutter. How can we switch off our workday when our bed faces two computer screens? This is going to need some extra strength mindfulness. Of course, the obvious answer is get rid of some stuff. If you've downsized as much as you can, it comes down to mindset. Every time you glance at your laptop outside of work hours, I want you to take a pause and change your perspective. Try these sentences on for size. I'm so grateful for the work that I have. I'm so grateful for the abundance of income. I'm so grateful for every new skill I'm learning. I am so grateful to have work and freedom. We've also talked about habit stacking before on this podcast. When you clean your computer screen, yes, you do need to do that. Use it as a reminder to feel grateful. I'm so grateful for everything I create. I'm so grateful for my team. I'm so grateful for every opportunity. It might sound cheesy, but our minds are changeable. Your laptop makes you feel dread because you've paired it with that feeling. Well, we can reverse engineer it by pairing your computer with positivity. You can also try some physical steps. Put up some boundaries, emotionally and physically. Create some breathing room in your house. And we mean this, literally. Clear a physical space in your bedroom or office where you can go to breathe. Put down a yoga mat or choose a favourite cushion. Clear an arm width of clutter around it. Make this a sacred space that is free of electronics, chargers and dirty clothing. Sit there and concentrate on your breathing. Create a calming space in your house for box breathing. It really can make a difference. Finally, don't play the blame game. We've all felt frustrated at other people's clutter. We believe our house would be calm if it wasn't for them. Take responsibility. Clean up your side of the street or the bedroom. Clean up the corner of the room you stare at most often. If in doubt, position your desk by the window. Your house might be a shit show, but your mind will be as fresh as a daisy. Space out.